Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a quick introduction video to a new feature in Graphene OS called Storage Scopes. So, if you don't know already, um, Storage Scopes were added in the last few updates, and they're a really good feature that adds a lot of uh, privacy to your storage on Graphene OS. So, essentially, I'm good, before I explain storage scopes and what they are, I'm going to kind of explain storage permissions in general in Android to somewhat of an extent. Now, I may be missing a thing or two here, um, but this is just the very basics. So, I'm just going through this app right now um, just to access the general permissions. So, you know, if you go to files and media, I can see all apps with file and media. Okay, so, and all apps with other uh, file permissions too, just to give a quick explanation. So, basically, um, in Android, you have different levels of file access. So, the most basic one that's also kind of one of the more invasive besides some extra, like, kind of admin level special permission and settings is um, allowed to manage all files. This is things that, uh, you know, for example, I have gallery here would have it. Um, so what this does is it allows the app in question to access all files in your common storage. Um, this could be images, text documents, uh, anything we would really be zip files, just anything at all. Um, but what it still cannot access is apps in, uh, sorry, files in apps own individual private storage. So say I have the Signal app installed and it's like generating images in its own hidden storage. That's fine. That's still hidden even if you give managed to all files access. But you can still see the issue here. If you have, allow an app to manage all files, it can see a significant amount of stuff because you can have all your images probably saved in all files except for a few inside of apps. You know, probably can have all your documents, text files, all sorts of things. So, you've got to be careful what apps you give this to. And this especially becomes an issue when you have apps such as Snapchat, which demand this invasive level of permission to even function, despite the fact, in reality, for the functionality they are requested, they are delivering to the user that's probably not necessary. Um, and they could still hypothetically access all your stuff, which you've got to be careful of. Um, so that's just one type of storage permission. There's also some other ones. I don't have all of them listed here because I don't have apps like actually granted them. But another big one is allow access to media only. Um, this one would allow you to essentially have an app that can still basically see everything in all your common storage. But what it can't do is it can't like just see all the file types. It can only see media in this case. So like you know maybe images or something. Yeah, this could see, um, but you know, if you had some weird, like, I don't know, big, weird, I don't know, 7-zip crazy file or something, it's probably not going to see that because that's not media. Um, I don't know the exact file flags of what counts as media or not, but you can still see the issue that media in all common storage is still a lot of things. That could be certain images you don't want people to see, stuff like that. So. In general, storage permissions, you gotta be careful granting those because they're very invasive. Um, another storage, I don't wanna say permission because this one's actually not invasive, but another storage thing that exists is called the system file picker, which essentially is what apps can, if they are coded correctly, default back to if um, essentially you've granted none of these. So, say you go in Discord, right, and you want to upload an image, but you haven't um, granted them any of this. Great. If you just go to the drop-down menu, there's a little thing in the uh, top corner where it just says you don't have the permissions. You can manually go into the file picker, uh, the system one, not the one that's like within Discord, and pick the one, and then it just imports it into Discord, and you can still send the image. Doing it that way only gives the access the app access to whatever you are currently selecting at the time. It doesn't let it see anything else, even if you can see other stuff as you're picking it. Um, so that's not really a permission, and all apps can use it because that's manually the user has to view what it's seeing. Um, so anyways, now that I've given a little explanation of how storage permissions are sort of laid out on Android, I'm going over the very basics here though, I'm missing a lot. Um, 
now I can explain scopes a little bit. So if you go back into an app permissions, well, you, know, you have New Pipe View. This is an app that essentially allows you to download YouTube videos and stuff. Uh, it's actually coded very well. I don't think you need any of these permissions, the, the file permissions rather, for it to function, but I'm sure there's something a little extra you can do with this, but it's just good to demo. So to enable storage scopes, you'd go into the storage permission, and firstly, if you already have it enabled, you gotta disable it, because if it has access to media or files or whatever, whatever already, there's no need for the scope. So firstly, make sure you click don't allow on your storage, and then once you click don't allow, configure storage scopes will pop up as an option. So what you're gonna wanna do to enable storage scopes on an app is you're gonna wanna click this. And then you're going to want to drag this toggle to say enable storage scopes. So now storage scopes basically add essentially a new option on top of, um, you know, the existing file, uh, file permissions rather that I just explained on Android. So essentially what this does is it will trick the app into thinking it does have access to whatever it's asking for, which in this case is media in all common storage or it could be all files in different situations. But, what it will do is instead of actually giving it that, in reality, it's just going to give it access to a certain folder that you choose. So if you go in here and you click Add Folder, um, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to open the System File Picker here, and you're going to pick a folder you want to use. In this case, I already have one uh, set up using some new pipe. Um, so if I click use this folder, what it's actually going to do, instead of giving it access to the entire phone's common storage for media, it's only going to let it access content and future content stored in this file folder, uh, and, and that's it. So, you know, if I put something in my images folder, it can't see it, but as the system is still telling it it has access. Um, so this is really useful because you can still import uh, excuse me, import things for the app to see if you want it to see extra music or stuff to that folder, but it can't see outside of it. Um, now, keep, but if you read the Graphene OS website explaining this, there's also something a little extra here. If it's using, I, I don't quite understand it, but if it's using some sort of like legacy type permission, um, it will kind of need to think it has more access than just this folder to even work. So what it will sometimes allow apps to do if it's targeting this legacy permission is to write stuff into your common storage into certain, uh, in certain circumstances. But at the end of the day, it still can't see what is here and it still can't like go back and take a look through. So at the end of the day, for all practical purposes, the only things it can see is whatever folders you grant here. And you can also click add a file to like manually select files you want it to have access to. Like for example, if I have like a song or something, I want it new pipe to be able to see. I could go back and manually choose that out of my file. So now when we go back out of storage scopes, um, so it's don't allow plus storage scopes is the new uh, level of permission as far as Graphene OS is concerned. But if I go into the app in just one second, it will, um, as far as the app is concerned, it has storage access now, regardless of if that's true or not. Um, so, you know, it's very simple to set up. I just walked you through the entire thing. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. And, uh, you know, also feel free to go through official, official Graphene OS channels to uh, ask them questions as well. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye now.